Over the last few months, we have taken a look at many autonomous AI agent services such as Baby AGI, Super AGI, AutoGPT, and many others. We know that to create and run an AI agent, you need to have a robust platform that ideally has data connections, different types of data transformers, processors, prompt engineering, code execution, chaining, as well as many other pipelines. And these are just some of the aspects that makes autonomous agents functional. Now, what if I was to tell you that there is an end-to-end -end large language model ops platform that helps you create powerful agents within a couple of hours? This is where I introduce to you Abacus. You are able to build and host different types of large language model apps at scale. Now, this is awesome as the AI agents are powered by large language models and have potential to revolutionize decision making and reasoning tasks. Now, these agents can be used in many ways to provide personalized and efficient solutions as well as creations of many different types of tasks. Take a look at this architecture. Abacus AI's AI agents provide users a platform to build AI agents that can solve different ranges of tasks like a human would or even better. Now we're going to take a look at this architecture. If you scroll down a little bit, you can see that the AI agents platform has provided developers an access to the following tools. You have four different categories. You're able to utilize any sort of data or document, code executors, uh, any type of large language model, for example, Meta AI's Llama model, you have Palm, you have Open AI's ChatGPT models, whether it's the 4 model or the 3.5, and Azure, as well as many others. Now, you're also able to utilize any sort of machine learning model, which is focusing on forecasting, optimization, prediction, chat LLM, and other L uh, like agents that are actually developed by abacus ai as well as many of the partnered agents that they are associated with and we can see that from these four categories it is basically there as a tool for the ai agent to utilize so whatever prompt that you give it to the ai agent it utilizes each and every sort of tool that is needed to complete your task and from this it gives the task output now it's able to do this by the nlp system to understand prompts and generate task lists to execute and from this it gives basically each agent a sort of a type of task that it needs to fulfill by looking at the each tools that it has to accomplish that goal and this is something that we're going to take a look at throughout today's video as we go more in depth to talk a little bit more about what you can actually do with abacus ai and going more in depth about what their future roadmap is so with that thought let's get right into the video and as we go more further in showcasing how you can build and host your own large language model agent hey what is up guys welcome back to another youtube video at the world of ai as you talked about the start we're going to be dwelling more in depth to abacus ai's ai agents as it represents a robust and versatile way for you to develop these different types of autonomous ai agents now these agents are designed to excel in many types of tasks but specifically ranging from creating custom chatbots to generating content all the way to translating code or extracting data insights. Now, one of its standout features of Abacus platform is to basically have amazing speed in developing these AI agents, which allows for developers to craft these applications in a matter of minutes. Now, the platform also provides an extensive customization option, which is basically allowing you to support for more custom data transformers, vector stores, as well as user code modules, which enables for fine tuning as well as controlling agent behavior. Now, at this current moment, guys, you're not able to access it fully for free as they are just releasing it fairly shortly. And this announcement was made around two days ago, which showcased that they're having a new platform in which users can develop their own AI agents and build large language model apps at scale with it. So at this current moment, you can only request access to test and drive out their services, or you can request a consultation. But at this current moment, you're not able to freely use it. But once it is available, I'll definitely keep out an update 
on the YouTube, or sorry, not YouTube, but on the World of AI on Twitter, as well as on the Discord. So definitely stay tuned and we'll definitely push that out fairly shortly. If you guys would like to access our private Discord, definitely take a look at the link in the description below where you can access amazing giveaways, partnerships, networking opportunities. If you guys haven't followed World of AI on Twitter, definitely do so so you can stay up to date with the latest AI trends. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos as there's a lot of content and a lot of value that you'll definitely benefit from. Now, let's just actually take a look at a demo. Now, we can see that you're able to define AI agents for a certain type of task. And this is how it basically functions. Now, we can see that there's different AI agents over here which focus on chatbots, data insights as well as summarization now from this it starts off with the block where there's different presets of the blocks in which it is chained to create the ai agent you can see there is a user code block a prompt api block data storage block data transformation block as well as a vector machine engine block now from these blocks there is a prompt in which it is sent to the ai task list which the task list then utilizes the different blocks that are available and from this it chains it to create an ai agent so in this case for a deployment and monitoring system it then focuses on these ai agents whereas if it was to focus on data storage it can then pull up the chained block for the data storage and it can create an agent off of that so in this case it is defined off the user input and it is then sourced through the different blocks that are available to help chain and create the different ai agents now if you go down to the next page we can see that there is a demo in which it creates this chatbot where there is a user input to the chatbot that says show me the top 20 orders by freight value when the product category name is in english is health beauty also show the status of the orders just show only two columns order status and freight value and we can see over here that it gives you this breakdown of what you had inputted and in this case it was focusing on deployment and monitoring uh, different types of data insights which it focuses on from this user input where it utilizes the chatbot focuses on data insights and it gives you a summary of only these two columns which it asks for whereas it asks for only uh order status as well as the freight value so we can see with abacus ai it's not just developing autonomous ai agents in which it can do many different things but it is focusing on high quality complex task creations as well as completion so this is something it, that is very great as it's a big company that is focusing on autonomous ai and we have seen many of these applications that are out there but they're not large companies that focus on more of the insights or the nitty-gritty to help refine the actual model whereas abacus ai is actually taking the time to specifically focus on each task agent so that it is able to output the best generative content and this is why i really wanted to showcase this because this is something that they have put a lot of time and a lot of value into making sure that their era ai agents are able to develop the best generative content another cool thing to note is that they have a lot of deployment options in which you can interact with the dashboard that provides different types of ai agents you can integrate it within business communications like Teams and Slacks, which allows many other users of Abacus AI to have access to the agent that you have created. You're able to also have a consumer facing application similar to ChatGPT, which you can see over here, which gives a nice friendly user interface. Another option is that there is an API endpoint that can be used to power any user facing applications. And that's basically it for today's video. Now, I know I didn't really go in depth by showcasing a demo as I don't really have access to this application as of yet, but it's something that they just released and I really wanted to put emphasis on this because it's going to streamline the process to create AI agents fairly easily. And it's not just your uh, basic AI agents. These are basically high complex agents that can solve many different ranges of topics as well as categories. So this is why I really wanted to emphasize on abacus ai's new ai agents because they're able to do so much more and it's something that is being backed by a bigger company now one cool thing that i want to note is that they have a free webinar coming up so if you want to check this out you can definitely 
uh do reserve a spot for this which i'll leave a link in the description below now this is something in which you will be showcased as to how you can build powerful ai agents in two hours and this is by utilizing their abacus ai platform so if you're interested in this i can leave a link in the description below and they will basically showcase what i talked about throughout today's video with real demos so i hope you enjoyed today's video guys and you got some sort of value out of it i'm sorry i wasn't able to showcase how their platform actually looks but i'll leave all the links in the description below so you can stay up to date with whatever is happening with this project thank you guys so much for watching definitely check out the patreon page if you guys haven't already definitely give world of ai a follow if you guys haven't subscribed to world of ai on youtube definitely do so so you can stay up to date with the latest ai content make sure you turn on the notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos as there's a lot of content that you'll definitely benefit from so with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas